right here. Coming to the edge of the water. All right, it's Wednesday morning, and, and Greg and I are heading into a spot that Jake and Nick hunted about four or five days ago. They hunted on the other side of this bottom that we're gonna go observe this morning, and they ran into a pile of bucks. I don't think anybody's been in from this side. I came in over here to scout earlier during bow season and found a bunch of buck sign up on these ridges around these fields, but I don't think anybody's been hunting over here. So Greg and I are gonna get in here, get to a spot where we can see down through this bottom and try and get eyes on something this morning. We got like 13 to 15 mile an hour winds today out of the south. So if we get eyes on something, I think we got a real good chance at it. The winds are supposed to hold up all day pretty much until about 6 p.m. Jake and Nick, are going duck hunting this morning since they killed their buck yesterday. So they're going to be on the other side of this bottom from us. That's another reason why we decided to come in here is just to catch any movement from deer that they might be bumping when they're down there duck hunting. We'll see, we might catch some natural movement or we might catch some bucks coming from Jake and Nick since they're down there duck hunting. <laughs> I've never seen something like that before. A lot of times you hit rabbits with headlights, they'll jump up like that. Really? But I've never had one just circle around me. He couldn't figure out where to go. <laughs> he kept coming back around. He came up to about two foot from us and jumped up in the air. He's putting on a show. Yeah. He's like, check this out. These dried out on the way here? Oh no, they're not. <laughs> How are you feeling about it? I feel pretty good. I don't know what it's gonna be like when we cross that flat. That's the only <laughs> thing I'm worried about. Who's gonna carry the boat? This is a mucky one. <laughs> I'm gonna throw these juggers too far. A lot of feathers out here. I like that. Oh, those decoys got some good movement already, Nick. Oh, yeah. Hello. Uh, I sent you a track to where we're at. We're at the end of that. And just follow that track because it's pretty wet if you cut across too early. We good. Oh yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> plenty hid. Anything else out here? We good. We're good. Just set up our cameras. <laughs> There's our boy. There's Stalzer. Nice little get in the mix, huh? This is our spot. Uh, <laughs> may I join you? You can come in over here, we got a spot for you. Get one? Kind gentleman. No. I would. Here's one there. Can I get this one? He's big one. Come on, come on, right here. <laughs> yes! That was some pretty good shooting both of those. <laughs> I think I even hit one. That was beautiful. Big yeah. group of teal right here. Here comes something to the left here. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Look to the right. Get one up. Yeah. Well. Two. Kind of been a few more. 
in here than I thought there was. I'm gonna need to run all, all the way around. Yeah. To get over there to get those on That's the right. side so we can get a count. Yeah. Show up. Sit down yet? <laughs> Knock a couple down that first. It was the first uh, two little volleys that come through. We shot pretty good there. Yeah, I haven't been out at all yet this year. It's nice to get out. Uh -huh. yeah, this, this is a little more, a little better than I thought it was gonna be. But this, I mean, we're right where they want to be. Where guess has been seeing them from? Have you been looking over there? Or have you? Uh, we hunted up there. We hunted over there. You know, we've just been deer yeah. hunting all around here. And I shot a buck back in there mm -hmm. yesterday morning. I ended up killing them. <laughs> Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear waders. Like yeah, pretty good handful. There was a pretty good mix of stuff in here. Good boy, bring it here. <laughs> How many you got there? Eleven. Yup. Six to go. All right, just swim on across. That's a hefty, hefty boy there. Hefty handful. America, yeah. We're selective duck hunters. I ain't against shooting a spoonbill, but I'd rather shoot some other stuff. <laughs> it seems like there's opportunity. We could, we could shoot our limit right now, though, man. I showed a lot of restraint not shooting them shovelers. So. <laughs> That's why I said, I was like, uh. I saw them and I was like, well, if I just keep walking, maybe they'll get up and fly right home. No, they landed oh, right in front of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they already landed right over there. <sighs> How'd we do it? A couple of mallards, a few gray ducks, shoveler, some teal. Good haul. Good haul. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any trouble scratching out a handful more. Personally. I see a buck, Greg. Might be a pretty nice buck. He's underneath that willow tree over there. Where's he at? That willow tree across the cove there. Not a shooter, but decent buck. Might be a shooter. Walking out to the right of it. See him? Uh huh. saw the first deer of the morning. Pretty nice buck got up over there underneath one of those willow trees. He stood up and then he walked down the edge to the south with the wind in his face. Kind of got in some of that taller brush over there. Now I can't see him over there now. That's the first deer we've seen this morning. We were sitting here wondering why the deer aren't up and moving, but it must just be moving a little bit later this morning. So I don't know if we'll see him pop back out. He might have just walked a little ways and laid back down. Kind of looked like he wasn't on a mission or anything, didn't seem like so. Might just be right over there in that brush still. But it sounds like those guys are having a pretty good morning in duck hunt. They're over there laying waste to them, sounds like. I'm in, they left, <laughs> now they're back. See them next? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot this one over top. Oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. <laughs> nice. We like shooting better when it's pretty dark out, I guess. Yeah, that was awful. They might have already flared off of us. Tough to tell. Gad walls, I'm pretty sure. Finicky though. Yeah, they're gonna come back around. 
right there. I'll be as close as she's gonna come. Where is she? I think I can break her down. Danger, danger. I think they're coming back this yeah, way. Get that way hinged up there. Get low, but they might. I like our prospects. Oh my goodness! Are they coming? Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, Jake! You might want to shoot. Yeah, I'm just filming this little clip here, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in on this action. Oh, green. <laughs> Shake it, dude. That's a big watermelon right there. God, that's beautiful. I don't care if we don't kill a limit or not. God. That fired me up. Of course, we start getting a little sunshine and mallards flying when we only need two. I feel like we're about to have something to do it. Yep, here we go. Oh, that was beautiful. Let's go. I love this. Yeah, they're pretty. Woo, yeah, boy. Awesome. Now those last two groups are all plumed out nice. Uh -huh. Big bunches and acting silly. Ducks in the duck potato. Something about getting close to nine o'clock just makes mallards acting ignorant. <laughs> mallards on the skinny water? The following day, Greg and I decided to try a new area where I had seen a buck a few days earlier. We dove in and found lots of deer sign as we worked our way to the back of the piece. Once we were set, it didn't take long for the action to pick up. Meanwhile, that same afternoon, Jake was out for an evening drive and spotted a handful of shooter bucks out on a field that bordered some public ground. The next morning, myself, Nick, and Jake dove in to try and catch them coming back to their bedroom. Close to where I guess Jake saw quite a few bucks up on the private field. 
70 degrees today, so not great weather, but still a good chance one of them bucks filters is way down through here. Done, boy. <laughs> Done, boy. <laughs> I was just starting to sit up, like naturally. I was just like, oh, it's getting pretty light. I'm gonna sit up. When you moved, he was like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, it hurts. <laughs> it's so freaking cold out here. But when we were walking in, there was all those tracks coming down to the water. <laughs> Lucky that wasn't a big clip. <laughs> That's a big one, boy. Yeah, that was a good ball. That's a, his face is real wide. Uh -huh. I think that's one of the ones I fell last night up there. I'm pretty sure I thought he was messing with me. I was like, where is he? He's like, he looked, he looked like, at me his eyes for his face. Like, he's right there. I'm like, like, he's right there. He's <laughs> water. I, yeah, you, I said, big buck, big buck. And then I figured you saw him right away. <laughs> and then you're like, where's he at? <laughs> he's right there. This limb come down right here. Where I, couldn't, I couldn't see where he's coming. <laughs> Smashed him, dude. Oh, you crushed him. By 40 yards. My fucking scope was all fogged up. Yeah, I, I saw was breathing. Like, when I shot him, it was fogged up still. Uh -huh. And I just, I, but I could see him playing. Playing his day in there. Smoke you, boy. Let's go. Like that. I looked up at one point and I was like, holy cow, he's fucked. <laughs> I saw him, he just popped up over that. We almost went down there. That little ditch right there, they always seemed to. Mm -hmm. Last night I didn't have my bucket hat and I was kind of stressing out a little bit because I didn't know where it was. <laughs> and then last night I found it, I was like, that's good. These were all the tracks that we saw on the way in coming down to this little bit of water. There's tons of them right here. That's where he was at. Sitting up under that oak tree right there. It's basically like we were on a turkey hunt. Watching down across there. And we killed him. You saw him going down right here. Yeah. It's like he went, but he just swam and just go that way so you can see up in there. Perfect, probably. Oh yeah, smoked him, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
right in the shoulder. Right there. <laughs> That's sweet, dude. God, I was getting nervous there when we started walking up. I was like, he just didn't at... even go as close to as far as we thought. No, no. <laughs> he went, he went straight over the hill. 60 yards. And he was tucked on the side hill when he was running. You could tell in the video, it looked like he was going down right along this canary grass. Yeah, you can see, like, it was like he took off running, and then all of a sudden he was just like, uh -huh. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Another one of those moments where I'm kind of just like in disbelief that it even oh, just yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, just walked in and sat down against that tree for 20 minutes. It never seems like they move when they're supposed to in the morning. It's always way later than what I think, but it's just like, this is like right on cue. Yeah, is like right as soon as it started think. getting light enough where it's just mm -hmm. like, oh, I hope we start seeing deer soon. There he is. <laughs> but there's a good chance it's one of the ones I saw. It was so, yeah. just so dark when I got up to that field. I filmed it in like 12 frames per second, but you might be able to tell. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we just need to see one of the four. <laughs> I mean, you absolutely smoked me. <laughs> I mean, the way he was quartered, you couldn't have shot him no better. <laughs> he was starting to get a lot of pin up frustration. <laughs> He's walking around, he's like, I gotta find a tree to break. <laughs> yes, yes. <sighs> that felt good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need any coffee on mornings like that. Uh -uh. Under that but we big oak tree right there. He smells like buck. Yeah. He's very bucky smelling. Oh. He's got some claws on him. That one's chipped at the end there. He said, oh, big buck kind of. Oh, big buck. Ah. He doesn't have a brown on his left side. I don't ah. Ah, He's only got one G4 there, Ted. I don't think I'm going to. Ah. I always got him tagged up, got some pictures, did a little more celebrating in and around him. And we're going to go back out to the car go get Jake's boat and we're gonna bring it in here and take him out on the boat. Be a little bit easier dragging him. So that's the plan. Let's do it. We just went back to the house, loaded up Jake's boat and we're gonna slide around on the water side and get this buck taken care of. Greg's in there still sleeping it seems like. It's about 8.30 so. He was probably up until about three o'clock in the morning working on yeah. the video of the one that we just got. So. Yeah, Greg's a night owl, especially <laughs> when it comes to editing. So he was probably up pretty late last night. We're gonna go get this buck, bring him back, and then surprise him with it. <laughs> oh yeah, I think he'll be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a good, good way to wake up, I'd say. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Here we are. Make hay while there's sunshine. Should be right up there, unless he run off. Unless that was him over there, kind of looked like him. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Up there. Just found the bullet clear back here towards his back hand because he was corded too so hard he shot him on this side. He must have went all the way through him I guess. Like, Warm perfectly though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I Last year I shot the power belts and this year I switched to the barns. That's what everybody else was shooting. Seems like they work a lot better and they're a little more consistent as far as accuracy goes so switch to those that looks pretty good. That's how he drew it up. Oh, shoot, he's already in there. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> well, it's not a doll. <laughs> got him in the boat? We got one in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, holy cow. Dude, that is awesome. Good boat bus. Nice. <laughs> Heck yeah. Come down there, it's about that five is five yards. Sweet. No brow, huh? Nope. Kind of unique. Three by five. Well, yep. that's a good way to finish her off. <laughs> Most motor season is done. Tagged out in Iowa. On to the next state. Can't beat that. Big old buck on a cool October morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But basically, all we're doing is taking the two lymph nodes right underneath the jaw and then. Um, Got an A sample and a B sample, and that gets sent off to the lab, and they test it. And if the if they test the A and it comes back at a high, like they call an initial reactor, if it's showing signs of it, then they'll test it's that B too. But most of the time, they have enough with that one lymph node that they that they know what's going on. So. How long does it take to get back there? It's all so, if we're only sending 
20 or 30 samples at a crack, you should know within a week or so. But during the gun seasons when we're sending hundreds at a time and then every other unit across the state, wildlife unit across the state sending them, it, it, it does take some time. Cut really good. See that one fall out? Hey, There's one right there. Mm -hmm. And you can almost, a lot of times you can you can feel them before you can see them. Like the lymph nodes kind of, it's a, it's a harder material. Almost feels, not necessarily like a marble, but it's just, it's super dense. Once you do this about a couple hundred times, you know right where to cut. See, I've actually sampled one that was positive and it isn't true all the time, but that one, his lymph nodes were fairly swollen. It's like if somebody gets sick here. Like yeah, right exactly like that. Up. And when we first started testing, we used to have to take the obex, which is in the spinal column back here. And you almost had to have like a, oh, like a really sharp fillet knife and scoop that out. But now with the upgrading testing, they can, they can, all you gotta do is pull the two lymph nodes cause it, it'll show up in there. So that's it. So they go in these whirl packs and then there's an individual barcode on these. So this barcode, and then I have an app here on my phone that I'll get Ted's data, his registration number and where he shot it, we'll pin it. So that way we know, you know, right where that deer was at, they got your registration number. So if it does come back as a positive deer, they know exactly which deer it is and who shot it and they'll contact you. And mm -hmm. then yeah. we'll go from there. So 